Right, let's switch gears. Hacking, sneezing, wheezing. Welcome to allergy season. It's back with a vengeance. And like everything else, there seems to be a pandemic connection. New this morning, John Shumway is on the tissue beat for us. How does the pandemic play into our allergies? We took off the mask and we took off the protection. Those of us who suffer with allergies have an awful lot of company. And a third of the population suffer right along with us. The temperatures are warming. The trees are budding and the tree pollen counts are starting to rise. And so is the misery of allergy sufferers. Everyone says the allergy season seems worse and worse, and it probably really is because the pollen counts seem to be getting higher. Oh, there's another factor, too. Our COVID masks are gone. So maybe that's why we're seeing some more, more people with more symptoms. So AHN allergist Dr. Russell Traster says there's a simple way to tell if you have a cold or allergies. I always tell people the biggest thing is itching because uh, allergies will usually cause itchy, watery eyes and nose. But the allergy symptoms could also be an early sign of COVID. So taking a COVID test to rule that out is a good idea. Yeah, you know, we're in a really funny time. You hear someone sneeze or sniffle mm -hmm. and you think, is that contagious? Like this guy this morning. Four sneezes, sneezes in a row. And you're wondering, oh gosh, what is that? It's just allergies. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And uh -huh. you know what? If it is, David, generally speaking, it is not contagious. Colds yeah. are a virus that can spread. Allergies are a reaction to an allergen-like pollen, which is your own private suffering, if you will. And coming up, we'll talk about preventions, treatments, and a potential cure. Ooh. That's very interesting. It's the trees. They blossom, and there I go. I start sneezing. I hear you. All right. Thanks, John. We'll stay tuned. <laughs>